गुड इवनिंग निशांत सर आई एम अवेलेबल हां यस सर 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 वी स्टार्ट यस यस हां प्रिंसिपल सर हां आई एम देयर यू कैन स्टार्ट एट योर टाइम यस ओके सर ओके ओके थैंक यू सबिता यस सर excellencies distinguished guests participants ladies and gentlemen a very good evening to one and all present here and we are delighted to welcome you to our inaugural ceremony of two weeks international faculty development program on data science tools organized by the department of artificial intelligence and data science of srm ishwar engineering college it is an honor for me to introduce and welcome the guest of the session mr nishal nishant nilan chief director of srm group of institute and dr r Sethu Raman Sir, Director of SRM Group of Institution, Dr. B. Subaya Bharathi Sir, Principal Dr. R. S. Kumar Sir, Dean Research Dr. Venkata Chalabadi Sir, our Head of Department Dr. Kanaka Subaraja Sir, and our Coordinators, and all the ladies and gentlemen. The aim of this FAP is to enrich the knowledge on data science tools through interaction with eminent personalities from industries and academics. The knowledge sharing will improve the teaching learning process to the students and benefit the society. We would like to commence our session with the musical note of Tamil Thai Valtil by Ms. Sari Priya. मेरारे Thank you all for your attention. Thank you, Hari Priya. Now I would like to invite our head of department, Dr. Kanaka Subaraja, sir, to address the gathering. Very good evening to all. I welcome you all to the two weeks international faculty development program on data science tools. The FTP starts from today and goes on up to 20th October 2022. So first, it's my great pleasure to welcome our chief guest, Mr. Nissan Nalan, Practice Head, Life Sciences, ACL Digital, Chennai, who will also be the resource person for today. Thank you for accepting our invitation. Join with us. Thank you, sir. I welcome other resource person who will be handling sessions in the coming days. Welcome, sir. And I welcome our chief director and director who encouraged us and extended his support. for conducting this ftb welcome sir and next i welcome our beloved principal dr r s kumar sir who is a big source of inspiration for us welcome sir uh. i welcome our vice principal admin and vice principal academics hods of various department and faculty members and students of is very engineering college finally and mo most importantly i welcome all the faculty friends and students from all over india and abroad who have registered to participate in this ftb thank you for your huge response i welcome you all sir i i am very happy to share that around 550 participants have registered for this ftb which is a very gr- good number and 250 participants from outside tamil nadu and there are 10 international participants also the international participants are from ireland USA women and Australia so i can proudly say that our ftb is truly an international ftb apart from them and there are five participants from the industry side thank you very much everyone for registering our ftb a grand success and all the sessions will be handled by industry experts they will be sharing their knowledge on practical as well as theoretical aspect the topic data science tools is chosen for the ftb as they are emerging technologies and will be very helpful for students placement and each day of ftb will cover one data science tool and totally 15 tools which are currently trending in the industry will be covered 
and one survey say that in 2025 around 2 lakhs 50 thousand job opportunities are estimated to be available only for data science professionals in india i hope in the coming two weeks you will all gain good insights on these technologies and you may even get some research ideas i am sure this event will be very useful for everyone from students to research scholar and faculty members hearty welcome to everyone thank you Thank you so much, sir. Before proceeding, I request Dr. Shivakumar Kartikeyan, sir, to come out of the whiteboard. Thank you, sir. Now, I would like to invite our principal, Dr. R.S. Kumar, sir, to deliver the address. Very good evening, and uh, I cordially extend a very warm welcome to the chief guest, Mr. Nishant, and uh, various guest speakers. Our management is constant, huh? constantly supporting this kind of endeavors. We are very proud of AI and DS, a HOD, Dr. Kanaga Subaraja, as well as his dynamic team for putting together a great FDP of vital importance. I'm sure this will pave way for so many of the youngsters to know more about data science and apply course, them Patana. in their field of study or in their field of research or in their field of regular work. So this is great work. Congratulations once again, Dr. Raja. And my best wishes to all the participants. Namaste and Jai Hind. I request every participant to mute themselves. Tension. Tension. And now I request our VP Academic Sir share some words about our VP. Excuse me, sir. Rahul, sir, can you mute yourself, please? Good evening, good evening, participants. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, good evening, participants. I first appreciate the Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science for conducting uh, such a program. Uh, not only such a program, and uh, for the convenience of all the participants, uh, without any academic disturbance, I think everyone can able to attend this program between uh, uh, 7 and 8 p.m. Uh, daily. And definitely this uh, particular uh, program will help all the participants to enhance the knowledge on data science tools. I wish the uh, FDP will be a very grand success and it will attract more and more uh, participants for the future uh, 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 such series which will be conducted by the ANDS department. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Now I would like to introduce our chief guest of this day. Mr. Nishant Nalan is a practitioner at Alton Kalsak Labs, Overseas Flight Sciences Services and Operations in India. Also, he is the Vice President of Indian Association for Statistics and Clinical Trials and an Executive Committee member of IASCT. He is also passionate about building high-performing teams and scaling delivery capabilities across functions and geographical locations. He is a visiting faculty at Department of Biotechnology, Bharatiya University. Also, he is a member of the Board of Studies, Bharatiya University, Coimbatore. We are happy to have you with us today, sir. I would like to invite him to address this gathering. Thank you very much uh, for the for a warm uh, invitation. And I am uh, very much uh, uh, positive and uh, energetic uh, seeing uh, many enthusiastic uh, participants online. Um, it's now 7, uh, 19, but uh, we see a large number of participants um, who have logged in uh, uh, with a great uh, spread. Thank you, the whole team, uh, which is behind uh, 
organizing this uh, event. And I would like to thank uh, Ishwar Engineering College, uh, Department of uh, Artificial Intelligence and Data Science. I would like to thank um, uh, Kanaga Subburaja, uh, sir, Nirmala, ma'am, and again the there are two people behind this uh, who basic um, who facilitated this, uh, Dr. Subaya and uh, Dr. Shakti. Thank you, each one of you. Um, and I would like to set the context, uh, being an inaugural address. I would like to set the context. Um, so, ma'am, I, I think I can share the screen right now. Yes, sir, you can, sir. Yeah. Are you able to see the screen? Uh, now you can share, sir. It, okay. Share again. <laughs> So the context here is uh, the industry 4.0, we call it, uh, which means um, uh, in the past there were three other uh, industry uh, revolutions. Uh, the first two industry revolution uh, um, is about uh, the, uh, the power looms, um, electric steam engines, then uh, it's about electricity. And the third industry revolution is where we participated as a country here. and. Uh, which helped us to transform, uh, creating more jobs. Uh, fortunately, uh, six states, um, uh, is, uh, which had the uh, uh, people with uh, uh, the skills and the graduations, uh, helped them to get the jobs. And uh, and the industry 4.0, what we are talking is uh, is about uh, nine components. So one is artificial intelligence, then machine learning, robotics. Augment uh, reality, robotics, and uh, and the ma the main key aspect which I would like to highlight is uh, here is about continuous learning, and so far when we talk about learning, um, we had it in uh, schools, colleges, uh, but at some point it stops. So, uh, and uh, now from here it is going to be a continuous learning, and that is where we uh, use a phrase, uh, um, unlearn, relearn. Uh, so it is about uh, upskilling us with the latest um, uh, technologies. And I see a good collection of uh, tools uh, um, and applications are listed in the agenda. So it's very uh, happy to see that and uh, and uh, the uh, participants are going to get exposed uh, to that. And very importantly, uh, this industry 4.0 is going to have a great impact on our uh, lives, each one of us. And this is going to be more on our data and data is now referred as a new oil and all organizations, all institutions, all have to get transformed to a data driven. So it is not no more. It's going to be an intu intuition based decisions. It is going to be a data driven decisions and organizations have started working on this. Uh, this uh, great effort called digital transformation and when there are a lot of uh, components um, uh, in it. So one, the very first one is the people, then we have the data. And, uh, and when we have a data, uh, of course, we will have questions and that's the, that is where we get into the insights. Then we uh, uh, do the action and we get the results. So we will get into uh, some details about data science when we get into the session that I uh, will conduct on SAS. So when you talk about data science, uh, what it is. So data science comprises of the uh, data and the insights of these uh, five uh, components. And when you talk about uh, the uh, innovation in industry 4.0, this is a science-based innovation. Any jobs that is going to get created is going to be uh, science-based jobs and all uh, skill-based jobs or routine-based jobs partly and majorly will be replaced, which means there is a new uh, scope. Uh, there is a, there will be a lot of new jobs in the uh, in this uh, great effort called digital transformation. So I, I am from an organization called ACL Digital. We are a, a digital transformation company. So we have a large team who is working on AI, ML, and in uh, data science. So when we talk about data science, in short. When if you have a, a collection of data and if you can uh, tell a story from the data, so that is data science. 
the other aspect which is very important for each one of us here is uh, especially for the job seeker which from an industry which i would like to highlight is skills yes sas can be learned the other tools can be learned we can acquire the skills but however there are a lot of other aspect um, uh, from a behavioral aspect we call so when you talk about skill and competency what is the difference is uh, skill plus knowledge plus attitude plus behavior is the, is called competency so when behavior gets attached to a skill we talk about the competency so this when you talk about the data sciences or the data services job so these are some of the uh, uh, common expected uh, behavioral indi indicators or like curiosity attention to details sense of urgency um, sense uh, strong sense of high accountability statistical thinking catching things quickly promptness embracing continuous learning so continuous learning is should be the takeaway um, for each one of us thank you thank you so much for this wonderful message sir. now i would like to invite our one of our coordinators ms revathi ma'am to deliver the vote of thanks good evening to all thank you is a such a prayer that cannot be seen or touched it must be felt by heart i feel honored and privileged to get the opportunity to propose a vote of thanks on this special occasion at this occasion i would like to thank our management chairman dr r shivakumar sir co chairman mr niranjan sir director dr v subaya bharathi sir chief director n sayduraman sir principal dr r s kumar sir thank you sirs for your very thought provoking and inspiring address to the entire fraternity and i would like to express our gratitude to vice principal admin dr naharajan sir vice principal academics dr v ilango sir dean academics dr a saravanan sir and heads of the department for their presence on this grand inaugural ceremony of two weeks international fdp on data science tools and i also thank our beloved head of the department dr s kanaga subraja sir for his guidance and that radiated a source of energy within us i would like to extend my sincere thanks to all the honorable delegates and the invited speakers who blessed us with their presence words are not enough to thank their constant guidance and support to shape the two weeks international fdp at the outset on behalf of our department a and ds i express my gratitude to the honorable session speaker and chief guest mr nishant uh, practice head life science acl digital chennai for your kind presence and very inspiring inaugural address sir thank you sir finally i thank the wonderful participants who have turned up in a such a great number from various colleges not only from our tamil nadu rather also from the entire world thank you so much for your cooperation and participation have a wonderful knowledge enrichment session with us thank you all Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, everyone, for being a part of this inaugural session. Now, let us get into the day one session on SAS by Mr. Nishan Milan, sir. The session is yours, sir. Thank you, ma'am. I am sharing it. If you, someone can confirm, that will be helpful. Ah, oh, yes, sir. Perfect. Thank you. Ah, oh, yes, sir. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so we, we so I'm, I'm, my objective of this session is to give an uh, overview, overview of SAS. Um, and I'm sure many of you would have heard about this um, uh, tool, um, SAS. Um, it is widely used in um, almost every industry. Uh, so since I am from a life science industry, for us, uh, using SAS is our de facto standard. And when you talk about life science industry, uh, <clears throat> this industry um, is about uh, um, like we work on the discovery of drugs and vaccines. So where we conduct um, uh, clinical trials for years, and when you talk from starting from day one, all the data what we um, get collected, um, we use SAS to analyze it. Yeah, so when you talk about uh, SAS, um, um, I would like to start with the history of SAS. 
then about SAS Institute, the introduction to SAS, then um, some uh, comparison with the database, uh, then the terminologies used in SAS, components of SAS, and naming conventions and syntax, and how we can learn and practice SAS. Okay, so definitely uh, the uh, agenda will give you the directions and um, uh, uh, encouragement to learn SAS. Um, from a historical perspective, as I touched a topic on industry 4.0, so where we had a shift from an agriculture to industries, industry to service uh, uh, services, and, and today in industry 4.0, we are in a knowledge-based economy. And that is the reason uh, where we have, where we are talking about uh, data sciences, uh, analytics, and many other uh, uh, components of uh, industry 4.0. And uh, look, looking at the history, um, the SAS was developed in the 1970s by North Carolina State Universities. And most of the innovation, what we had uh, uh, the last uh, uh, 20, 30, uh, 40 years were from the uh, universities or the, or the uh, university labs. Uh, likewise, SAS was also developed in the North Carolina universities uh, by Jim Goodnight and his colleagues, um, so pr the primarily to analyze agriculture research data. So this is the history about SAS. So SAS was uh, then uh, after the uh, uh, success of the um, analysis on the agriculture data, and um, SAS, the um, SAS uh, Institute was founded in 1976 by Jim Goodnight, and uh, still is the CEO of SAS Institute since 1976. And this is considered to be one of the uh, uh, top uh, one company on uh, various um, uh, aspects um, now, in terms of uh, the uh, technology products, um, and then in, in terms of application development uh, products, um, in terms of any forecasting products. Um, so SAS um, has a, a series of products, it has a multitude of products. If you take any industry uh, for any given um, um, uh, problem, um, there is a product which can give you a solution. And uh, the uh, introduction to SAS um, uh, is about uh, SAS system is an integrated system of software products that enable you to perform data entry, retrieval, and management. So uh, when we talk about uh, the previous way of uh, entering data, so if you take, if you take, take uh, um, uh, flashback like uh, 1970, uh, so 1990s, where we started with the file processing system, um, any data that we uh, store was stored in a word pad. Uh, in fact, the the uh, the, the earlier versions of uh, these applications, um, uh, it was very difficult to uh, search uh, information, find or replace uh, data. And if you have to go to a particular um, uh, information, you have to scroll for many pages. And um, and then we had uh, from a file processing to a uh, uh, database uh, management system structure. Um, the, then we have the then we had the relational database uh, management system. Um, uh, that is a uh, relating tables of table of information using a primary identification number. It could be student ID, employee ID, patient ID, could be any. And then there the shift from an RDBMS, it uh, more shifted to data analytics, which we are talking about today. So from a pile processing system to DBMS database database management system to uh, RDBMS relational database management system to data analytics is what the uh, shift transformation uh, when you talk about uh, yeah, data or a file. So data entry retrieval and management is a basic uh, um, facility um, of SAS. Um, so when you talk about SAS uh, people. Uh, uh, get into many uh, references uh, because uh, SAS uh, is referred as a, a program language in some references. It is uh, 
referred as a data warehousing um, tool. Um, um, but technically, SaaS is a business intelligence uh, tool. When you talk about uh, what is business intelligence, a tool which has the ability to collect data, analyze data, and report uh, the data, which helps for business decisions, is a BI tool. So we have uh, n number of uh, tools. There are many uh, tools like SaaS that are available in the industry, but um, SaaS um, is widely used um, statistical um, analysis system uh, in many industries, uh, especially the industry which I am from life sciences. So when you talk about uh, the BA tool, as I said, um, uh, collection of data, analyzing data, reporting data. So report writing and graphics. When you talk about, talk about report writing, it could be in a text format. If you want to have in a visual format, yes, we can give. And there are uh, visual representation, what we see in the cricket score, histograms, the run rate comparisons, the wagon wheel display, uh, players scoring runs across the um, ground on on side, how much he has scored, on the leg side, how much he has, a player has scored. So all this information are uh, behind the uh, scenes. You have SAS, which is um, taking the data, which is giving us as an insight. So that is where the data science is about. And then it helps in statistical and mathematical analysis. Um, and, and statistical and mathematical analysis is, prim is primarily uh, uh, um, a yeah, yeah, backbone for any research uh, where we uh, set an hypothesis um, and then we work on a on a given research and we collect data uh, as part of the research, analyze, and then we take, uh, report the uh, analysis and make uh, get into uh, decision. And that is how the uh, drug discovery is about. So statistical and mathematical analysis uh, is one. Then the business forecasting, um, um, decision support, operational research, uh, project management, application development, developing applications, um, uh, apps. Uh, there are there are there are uh, uh, tools uh, and a framework that is available, uh, which help which can um, develop applications and data warehousing. When you talk about warehouse, by the name we know it's a place where we can store a large information. The extract, transform, load facilities also there in SaaS. So it is the most widely uh, used uh, statistical uh, software package. So SaaS is an integrated product which offers BA solution. When I say BA, it is business intelligence. Okay, so more about SaaS. Um, uh, it is user-friendly um, uh, programs use English-like statements that are easy to read and interpret. Uh, SaaS provides a powerful ease to use method for understanding your data. SaaS features allow, allow you to access data for use in your applications, no matter where or how the data is stored or what format it's stored. So one is it is user-friendly, English-like statements, uh, easy to read and understand. And that is, it has uh, some powerful features. Um, it, 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 it brings in all the programming uh, constructs, uh, which helps you to uh, access the data and analyze it. And it uh, there are features which helps uh, SAS to access data um, wherever it is stored. It could be stored in any databases like Oracle or other databases, or it could be it could be stored in any semi databases like uh, MS Excel um, or um, the, the uh, notepad, the Word document, any file that the data is stored, SAS can access it. Um, and again, um, uh, the uh, format, any file format it can access. So is SAS for you? And I think this gives you the uh, uh, a very clear answer. So if you have a collection of data, and if you have questions about the data, then SAS is the system for you. So is SAS a database? So when you call a database, um, I would like to refer uh, yeah, to, to terminology like a backend and a front end we call in IT. So uh, when you say a backend, it's a place where the data is stored. Front end is a place where the user work. So and SaaS is, is SaaS a database? 
And before that, we need to understand the common expectations of a database management system. So these are the common expectations of a database management systems, like a long variable length, data compression, um, generation, uh, data tables. So variable lengths is that is a, like it's a, it's about uh, some flexibility in variable uh, lengths. But however, there is a uh, when you talk about SAS. Um, uh, there will be a limitation. Um, then uh, the data compression, yes, the compression, we can compress the data, like how we zip <clears throat> many files together. Then a generation of data tables is possible. Indexing, uh, we see a message. Uh, okay, uh, uh, can you hear me now? Uh, am I audible now? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sorry, yes, sir. Sure. Yes. Okay, thank you. <coughs> sorry. So, indexing. Indexing is a very simple concept. Like you have a thousand uh, rows, a thousand records. I want to access some particular record, like uh, 200 or 400 or some any specific record. If I have to access, we can create an index which helps us to quickly access and sequentially accessing the data. Data integrity constraint. Um, constraint. Data ent entry is, uh, it, is when you talk about data entry, that should be a um, set set up rules. <coughs> this is how data should be entry entered and cleaned or, or validated. Data entry integrity, integrity constraints, referential integrity constraints, audit trials. Audit trial is uh, any uh, changes that you make to the data um, that will be recorded. Um, uh, for and this is this helps uh, uh, for as uh, for transparency, and again there are guidelines which talks about this. Uh, one of the guideline is twenty one CFR Part Eleven, which was instrumental for electronic uh, uh, records. Uh, yeah, from paper based to electronic records and electronic signatures. So the the the, the twenty one CFR Part Eleven guideline of that law was very instrumental. Then password protection of data tables. Can we set a password to our information? Yes. Encryption of data, encryption of network traffic, data views. I think views. <coughs> I think I should uh, decline this. Yeah, data views, uh, data views. Uh, so view is a. Uh, yeah, so view is a concept. Uh, um, so we, when we have a table, it has a logical structure where when you talk about a view, uh, it just uh, create a copy of a table uh, without, without creating the logical structure. Um, so um, <clears throat> then query tools, query optimization, road level locking, Reliability, how much reliable the, uh, the tool is or database is. Performance and scalability, um, the CPU performance or any uh, um, usage um, of memory, uh, every aspect is uh, uh, assessed. And scalability, uh, how about um, uh, scaling up to uh, lakhs of records or 10 lakhs of uh, records. Um, so data integration, warehousing, and mining. So these are some of the common uh, expectations of DBMS or database management system. So, so SAS satisfies the common expectation of a DBMS, but it is more than a DBMS because it has uh, a lot of other uh, uh, features or capabilities like data warehousing capabilities, the analytical cap uh, applications, the um, uh, st can create statistical summaries uh, reports and it is offered in uh, numerous platforms and offers multitude of products um, so it offers bi solutions it is a programming language it can be seen as a programming language um, and also helpful in creating applications using app develop studio okay so it is this application which helps to create application um, in sas So this is the SaaS environment. So this is how the environment looks like, where you uh, have an editor window, which uh, where you can go and write SaaS programs, and you have a log window where you can check uh, the performance of your program, 
Um, you can check about the uh, errors, um, uh, warnings, or any other notes if you want to verify it. That's a good practice. So once uh, your program is compiled, the next uh, step is to check the log window for any errors, warnings, or notes. So the log window uh, uh, used to review the statistical processing, used to see the results of the processing. Output window is where the where we see the results. So there are three window uh, as I mentioned. Uh, so one is the editor window. So we call this as an IDE, integrated development environment, because you have an editor window, you have a compiler, uh, you can compile the program, see the log, and you get the output, <coughs> desired output, and uh, also you have the libraries and set of tools um, for, for the design purpose. So the terminology is what we, what we are using here um, is um, a data set. Um, so we have, we, in, in, in database management system, we refer as a table. Um, here we are referring as a data set. And again, in database management system, we refer as a row, row or a column. And here in SAS, it is referred as observations and variable. And each and every value is a data value and collection of data values or data value. So the, so the SAS terminology starts with data value, which is a basic unit of information processed by SAS. And it is found at the intersection of a row and a column. Okay. You can see this, uh, it is at the intersection of a row and column. You have, what you have is a data value um, <clears throat> in SAS and uh, there is a comparison. Uh, what we have given is from Oracle uh, table, uh, which is a database. Um, and here, what we are given is SAS uh, uh, BI, a uh, business intelligence tool, which also ha ha is having the database uh, capabilities. And one interesting thing which I would like to uh, uh, tell here is uh, uh, when you talk about SAS, uh, the data types, what we have is uh, a character and numeric. Uh, only there are two data types here. Whereas in Oracle, uh, um, where we, we have data, data types uh, like uh, float, int, uh, var, varchar, varchar2, there are a lot of uh, uh, data types. So any data type which is uh, which is character, yeah, ca character related to character will get converted into character automatically. And any uh, data type that is related to numeric, like in float or any uh, data type that is related to numeric, will get converted into numeric in SAS because SAS has that uh, SQL engine which will convert. Um, in, into its uh, own data type, so either character or uh, numeric. So getting back to the search uh, terminology, data value is the basic uh, unit. Then we have observations and variables. And then and and uh, and, uh, and we call in SAS it is data sets, and data set is will have two portions. One portion we call as a descriptor portion, which is the metadata of a data set. The metadata is uh, the data about the data, uh, like uh, number of observation, number of variables, when the data set was created, and uh, <clears throat> the label of each variable. Um, um, so all this information or we will come in the descriptor portion and data portion is the actual information that we have in a table or a data set. What we are seeing here in a, uh, in the uh, uh, table is the uh, data portion. So, uh, getting into uh, the programming structure of SAS, uh, we call this as um, SAS elements or components of SAS. Uh, so, SAS is one of the simplest programming structure we have. Uh, so, it, ha it has only two data steps. One is data step, another is proc step. Data step helps us to Data step helps us to create this data set. 
Yeah, so you, you can create a data set uh, like this. What we have here, you can create a data set like this. So data step will help us to create this. Proc step will help us to process it, okay? Creating a data set and we need to process it. Um, so if you have to print it to the uh, output window, we need to use proc steps. Okay. So this is sample programming structure. So SAS can contain any number of data proc steps. So data, then you have uh, the name of the data set. Then, you, then we can apply the statements, any number of statements. Then uh, run semicolon, proc print data equal to the demo is a data set name and run. So when you take only data step, so we have uh, data is a SAS keyword. Uh, so semicolon is uh, uh, is a must when you uh, when you complete uh, uh, the the line. Uh, so data then the data set name then the number of statements any number of statements and run a semicolon. So this is the syntax of a data step. And here proc step you have uh, various proc step. So one of the proc step what we have given is to print. Uh, so what the data portion of uh, the data set uh, so proc print will uh, print the data set what what is available in a data set called demo so proc print data equal to demo and run so before getting into the next slide i would like to access to the sas environment so to access sas environment this is the link which we need to use so sas maybe i'll share share you with this link so it is a free access um, for everyone, primarily for academics. So the name of the software is SAS On Demand for Academics. Okay, so you have to give access now. Yeah, so since I have logged in, I can get uh, directly get into the system. So you, you have to click this SAS Studio. So before uh, clicking to this, uh, you have to create your own profile first. It's just uh, a username and a, a password is uh, needed. You can use your Gmail, uh, Gmail address, uh, email address, and you can create uh, your own uh, account with uh, SAS on demand for academics. And um, by clicking SAS Studio, uh, we will get into this. Uh, I think already I have, yeah, so this is already I have a sample program. So this is how the environment look like. You have a place to write a program, data, and just giving a data test. And so this completes uh, the uh, syntax of data step, and you can write some statements. You can assign some values, x equal to 10, I equal to that equal to x plus y. Okay. So this uh, this is how we uh, write uh, the statements uh, within the uh, data step. Um, so data test. Uh, uh, then you give the statements and you 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 are giving the run. So then you compile it. So to compile it. So here you have a uh, button to submit. So you get the uh, result here, X, Y, and Z. Okay. So you have a log window, you have the result, a result window, and you have the output data. So uh, result, um, we need to give a prog, prog print to get the uh, To get the results there. So this we call as a data portion. There are two portions in a SAS data set. So you get your you know we are getting the result in the results window. And how to uh, check the uh, metadata that is the descriptor portion. There is a procedure called proc contents. So these are, and we, 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 
we at real time we are using very less procedures um, uh, if you ask me uh, the real time we are using very less procedures the however uh, the complex of the programming uh, the differs from uh, task to task or from a study to study or project to project so here proc contents and giving data equal to test is the data set name i'm just executing this so we get the metadata the data about the data so data set name is work dot test work is the library in the name member is data so engine is version 9 engine created modified so if you are using password you will get here like read or write alter information in protection data set type label supplying you will get here so there is one observation and three variables apply index you will get here and if you start you will get as yes here same with compression so as I mentioned, there are only uh, two data, uh, data types in SAS. One is numeric and other is character. Okay. This is a very basic SAS program. Um, so I will get into the slide and maybe I can come back again to the editor window. So SAS naming conventions, um, um, like it's again a very uh, simple instruction um, uh, we have. So we li limit data set names to eight characters for portability purpose. So variable names can be up to 32 characters in length. The first character of the name must be a letter or an underscore. Later character may include letter, number, or underscore. So no other characters are permitted. Blank cannot appear in SAS. Okay. So variable name can be up to 32. Um, so if you get uh, to the work environment, uh, so here. You can either start like underscore test or test. If I am going to start like one test, if I execute this, we get an error. So we are getting a syntax error. But if you use underscore, this will accept. We are not having any error here. Special symbol also, it's not allowed. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so you, the first character of the name must be in letter or an underscore. Any other uh, ways of uh, presenting the data set name will result in error. So later characters may include letters, numbers, underscores. No other characters are permitted. Blanks cannot appear in SAS name. Okay. So when you say blanks, so we cannot mention something like this. Okay. It's not allowed. It, the letters should be continuous. Okay, so every SAS begins with a SAS keyword uh, like uh, data um, or run or proc. So every SAS statement ends with a semicolon. Words in SAS statements are separated by blanks or special characters. Uh, SAS statements can begin in any column. Any number of SAS statements can appear on a single line. So this is so we can have every statements can be in a single line as well as far as there is a semicolon given uh, at the end of that but a intended uh, statement um, yeah it is fine and it can start anywhere at any with at any positions so any number of sas statement can appear on a single line the SAS statement can be continued from one line to the next as long as no word or script. SAS statements can be entered in lowercase, uppercase, or a mixture of two. Uh, SAS, um, so SAS is not case sensitive except in quarter strings. So it is case sensitive only in quarter st strings. So here there is an example program like um, where we have uh, 
we have some set of information um, within the SAS data set where we are reading some information like ID, name, age, or the um, variable names. I'm creating it. So the data set work.test has six observations and three variables, which giving the CPU time, real time, and so on. So so now I'm going to sort this by ID. Yeah, by default it is ascending. If you want to have it descending, you have to give here descending. So here now it is sorted, and if you are if you are sorting, the metadata also will get affected. So you can check the metadata now, descriptor portion. Now we are seeing uh, earlier it was like sorted as no. Now we, it is yes. The metadata will get impacted. Uh, yeah. So based uh, based on the impact on the data set. And uh, also if you uh, you can see the uh, label uh, is applied here student information. Yeah. So. Okay, so let me, I think, uh, yeah, this is again a sample program, like uh, assigning just an as, as assigning a value to a target variable like x1, x2, x3, and um, you're printing, uh, and you will get exactly uh, the same what you have uh, entered here. So how can we learn and practice SAS, SAS is what uh, I have demonstrated. So this is the link which I can share with the uh, head of department uh, or the uh, or faculties. Um, so you will get this uh, details. So SAS on demand for academics is a, uh, is a free access. Um, so earlier um, we need to install it uh, using a virtual machine. And now it is a cloud access. Uh, you can use your own uh, personal uh, email address uh, as your username, and you can access it now. I think there is a there are some questions. Uh, I think uh, we can open the questions. Good evening, Nishan sir. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can hear. Uh, this is Professor Ramesh from Bangalore. Yes. Uh, and you you gave a very nice introduction to the SAS system. The question is that uh, what I understood, uh, it looks like a RDBMS, and you mentioned that uh, SAS is beyond RDBMS. You said uh, from the point of research applications, say for example, I am into biomedical applications, and also you mentioned drug discovery. A drug yeah. discovery, as you said, it's a part of bioinformatics. Correct. So there we come across gene expression, DNA, RNA, protein expressions. How we can handle such data using SAS, sir? Suppose if I want to analyze. Yes, sir. So, uh, so since I since we are working on the clinical uh, trial uh, projects, uh, like um, uh, yeah, it is it could be like uh, phase one, phase two, phase three. Phase four, or it could be any of any therapeutic area or any indication. So mm -hmm. we uh, start uh, helping the um, sponsors um, from the initial uh, analysis. Um, there is an yearly medical monitoring uh, stages itself. The data gets uh, uh, gets collected, and when there is a data uh, collection, so the statistical uh, programming team uh, gets. Um, involved and statistical programming teams primary responsibility is to uh, analyze the data and uh, report the data yeah so it could be um, any um, safety analysis or it could be any uh, efficacy analysis and in terms of uh, uh, with uh, with respect to the input data there is no uh, uh, restrictions it could be any number of records it could be lacks of records because the the recent development uh, uh, because the 
the, the, the what we are talking about around the around us is the impact of industry 4.0 in addition covid 19 covid 19 has uh, taught us a lifetime lesson how to conduct clinical trials virtually because in clinical trials the visit schedules are very key and uh, missing values to this visit, visit schedules how to handle so all these lessons we we have learned and uh, globally now uh, the trials are conducted virtually and now um, like uh, the, uh, the control arms like synthetic control arm studies are approached um, and uh, the the um, the real world data um, that, is, that is widely uh, available uh, are also used uh, in uh, clinical uh, trials. Um, so I think uh, even um, uh, SAS, though um, FDA recommends, um, suggest the uh, sponsors to analyze uh, the data and the report using SAS, uh, but now we also see a trend uh, uh, like other uh, applications are also emerging. Um, but however, uh, uh, the uh, I think it is it is going to take some time for any other um, emerging applications uh, to be there um, and uh, start you you using it. Can we do a classifier, sir? Classifier algorithms can we apply here based on the data? Yes. Yeah, because uh, when we talk about uh, uh, the uh, our. Uh, Programming activities, it is based on algorithms. So mm -hmm. any algorithms we convert into programming specifications and these programming specifications can be uh, uh, understood by the programmers. The, the, um, from algorithms to um, uh, programming specifications, we uh, involve uh, uh, biostatisticians or the, uh, the medical writers to help us. Last question, sir. You said uh, programming. In which language we should write the program here in for SAS language? SAS itself is a programming. It is okay. a, it is also a programming language. Okay. So uh -huh. the the pro whole it looks programming like, is, is it like a be... oops concept or an ordinary language? Is it uh, like a C plus? Can you uh, resemble SAS language with any other language? Something you know, Java, C plus plus kind yes, of. Yes, uh, it 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 uses. Uh, uh, the uh, features of the programming language, mm -hmm. um, like for example, uh, the arrays what we have in Java mm -hmm. uh, can be used here. We use arrays as well. Uh, arrays help us uh, to transform uh, the rows to columns or columns to rows. So it helps us to um, do any programming uh, uh, requirements. And the uh, other references, um, it, it, because here it is what we have is the data, and uh, we we need uh, insights. So between this is what uh, the uh, different uh, uh, function and the different job roles are uh, created, and they are performing their roles. And uh, we need uh, a lot of uh, talents there for the future. A lot of India is emerging, and it's going to be the future pharmacy of the world. In 2030, that is going to happen, and uh, uh, and uh, the statistical programming jobs uh, we are uh, considered to be one of, one of the um, highly paid jobs as well in India, and uh, the global uh, uh, post COVID, um, a lot of uh, companies are moving to India as a destination to uh, set up their uh, 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 innovation centers. Um, it could be sponsor or it could be service based or. Uh, uh, innovation companies who is supporting uh, the pharma companies. Yeah, it can be seen as uh, the other program, yeah, other programming languages. Like for example, when you say oops, we we talk about uh, data abstraction, which is the hiding the background details, uh, maybe the end caps. These concepts are applied at some places in the programming process. So we won't have exactly exclusively like uh, what we have. In Java, for example, threads we will not have, uh, but 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 we will have the basic elements. What we have in a programming language will be there. As I was referring to uh, uh, data type, uh, so SAS is SAS um, is having two data types, numeric and character. But when you take the <coughs> Oracle 
um, it, it, it has many data, data types. So, so SAS uh, is having an SQL engine which can, which can read Oracle uh, data. We need to connect, connect to the Oracle database. It can read it. And we, do, during the process, it converts um, the, the, all the variables uh, to either to a character or a numeric. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Hello, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I am Raja Priyanka and I am a UG student. Yes. So, my question is simple, sir. Uh, when, uh, uh, what are all the project, uh, what are all the type of projects can go with the support of SAS environment or SAS programming language, sir? Can you tell us? Yes, yes. So, yeah, so when you talk about pro projects, um, you, you, you are talking from an academic project or a, a real time uh, job. So, in real time, you have organizations, right? Academics related. Uh, academic related. To yes, yes. So, <clears throat> yeah, in academic, I think uh, what we look for is a uh, an internship or an um, uh, yeah, yeah, project support from organizations and organizations um, it could be of three types one is what we have today is innovation based organization number one those are uh, innovating the products number two is the service based organization which is sort of providing services uh, to to uh, the um, other organizations and third is the uh, the uh, customer intimacy organization. So whatever you have data, it is going to be around these uh, different types of organization. And it could be uh, from any industry. If you need, uh, if, you, if you are interested to work with, with uh, life sciences, yeah, life sciences is highly regulated. Um, and for uh, even for academic projects, um, there will be a lot of uh, restrictions to get the uh, uh, data. So any um, uh, the published data, uh, in the uh, available in the web, probably with some support uh, from the organizations can be um, uh, taken in account for academic projects. But however, other industries, uh, uh, the data, uh, I, I see that definitely there are a lot of uh, projects uh, the companies are offering for academics. In life sciences, it is highly regulated. Thank you, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, Nishan, sir, your presentation was very informative and uh, it's a nice presentation, too. Myself, uh, Vinish, I'm from uh, Coimbatore. So, sir, uh, my question is, uh, can we do the data encryption using this SAS? I mean, data set encryption can be done using this uh, SAS? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Encryption can be done. Uh, but uh, what was the SAS, when you talk about SAS, we are uh, referring um, SAS uh, into one, but uh, SAS uh, comes with many modules. So okay. the module, uh, what I covered uh, is primarily uh, the modules includes the base SAS, um, the SAS stat, SAS graph, SAS macros. So these are the uh, modules uh, which uh, uh, we primarily use in life sciences or even in the other industries we primarily using. And there are some tools which are the available for some specific use, uh, uh, maybe encryption, the networking, network encryption. So everything, um, there are some specific modules available, sir. Okay, sir, one more question what, is. Uh, the, sir, the problem here is uh, anything, any uh, module that we look for, we have to go for licensing separately. Yeah. Licenses, okay, okay. Sir, one more question is, uh, can we uh, do the data set analysis results as a graphs or any plotting uh, object? Yeah, we can do. Yeah. We can do okay, very can nice uh, graphs uh, in SAS okay, okay. Uh, using um, um, annotation method. It is a little traditional. However, um, uh, using the um, t template uh, method, we can use it. So it is more, uh, but we pro probably we will need uh, some as a prerequisite. We need we, we should know some basic understanding of graphs. How we uh, like in schools we create graphs. Uh, we we should yeah. know what is x-axis, what is y-axis, what variable should go in x-axis, what variable okay. should go in y-axis, and what is the purpose of this graph, and what we are primarily um, 
looking uh, as an insight using this graph. So all this, I think we should uh, understand. If we can have this understanding, yes, we can. And it is very, uh, it's a very interesting uh, uh, experience creating graphs in SAS. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, sir. Yes. I am Dilip Kumar from Coimbatore, sir. Yes. Is the SAS is only SAS. used for only used in the industrial uh, sector, of, sir? Or uh, otherwise, it is used in the IT companies or uh, any other companies? SAS, yeah, like SAS, SAS is uh, used in uh, almost all industries. Um, like SAS, there are other uh, BI tools, um, which is uh, from Oracle and other um, key players. Um, they, um, it is also available. But uh, SAS has its own advantage. Uh, SAS uh, definitely uh, usage of SAS is increasing across the industry, um, across the companies. Um, so in life sciences, uh, mostly uh, SAS is used for data analysis and reporting. Or in healthcare, you can combine add, add healthcare as well. Okay, sir. thanks. Sir, this is Dinesh Chaudhary yes, from Pune. Yeah. I wanted to ask that what makes SAS from other languages unique that we should go for SAS while implementing the database management system? That we have an SQL language to implement this special type of data management system. Why we have to use SAS for other kinds of projects? What makes this some different from other languages? Yeah, the concept there because the concept of database in cause concept of business intelligence is completely different. So database is more of uh, storing the data, um, handling the data through queries, optimizing it. Um, in fact, again, there we uh, get the questions, uh, specifications, we are creating the reports. But however, uh, this is a uh, concept um, where you get into a lot of other um, features or, or facilities. Um, in addition to what database is, and um, so, and I think um, that is where uh, I compared uh, you know, with uh, the common expectations of a database. And when when we say database management system, I think we should relate it to a relational database management system. That is what we use, and now we uh, that is transformed to the uh, data analytics. And uh, if you take about uh, the other tools, uh, I think uh, it, it is not like only we have, we will get into uh, SAS um, and we use SAS, no. So we uh, have teams. Um, so in my organization, we have teams here in US, Canada. Um, so we we are using um, SAS, um, um, then we are, we are, we are using um, the other uh, tools like Python, or um, and when there are other tools also we are exploring and um, that is where i touched on this point of continuous learning and uh, learning one tool alone will not be enough and uh, the given any point of time we will be in a situation to upskill us uh, as we move forward yeah so we should be uh, we need to unlearn and relearn um, yeah, quickly one more question um, yes is SAS a structured language or it is an another type of language? There, it does not need any structure or like in C, it is a structured language. We have to follow some of the procedures like we have to declare a function and then write a main function. Is there any other structure over here in this language? Yes, yes. It's a structured programming language. Um, like C, um, like um, you, we create, um, you can create um, macros here. Uh, which is uh, very instrumental uh, for the, the complex uh, programming or problem solving uh, things. So you have a very uh, large scope of writing programs as well based on the given uh, uh, data set uh, or the data set uh, specifications that you get. Because uh, I remember uh, there are programs which took for me uh, to create uh, a global uh, death report, uh, which means there is a, like um, for the sponsor, there are 200 trials that is going on. For example, 200 clinical trials are ongoing in the uh, across the globe. Uh, but we have to get 
uh, get access to the, these 200 studies. And in 200 st studies, um, uh, for each molecule, there will be uh, different studies. Um, so I think um, accessing um, uh, more uh, data, um, because the uh, data structures uh, sometimes will not be uh, um, similar or will not be standard. So a lot of challenges are there when you work with uh, data. If it is a structured data, yes, the challenges will be less. But however, from a programmatical perspective or a programmer perspective, there are times uh, which makes us uh, to write a program for many days, be like 10 days, 15 days. There are there are cases where one program have to a programmer to write for a month as well. It depends on the problem actually, the complexity of the problem. It's a structured programming language. Yes. So yeah. And that is the reason I mentioned as well, connected to IDE as well, integrated development environment, like how you have uh, in Visual Basic or other places where you have an uh, editor window to write program, compile it to compile it. You have uh, tools, you have uh, your libraries to access it. Yeah, it is the same. Thank you, sir. Sir, do we have uh, pre-built functions like of Python in our SAS? Yeah, so the, uh, when you talk about data step and proc step, uh, uh, which is the, which are, these are the two uh, key elements in SAS. Data step helps to create uh, the data set. Proc steps are pre-written um, pre routines. So these, whatever you call as proc print or contents, these programs are already written in SAS. Okay, there are law, many PROC um, procedures, we call PROC is nothing but procedures. These are available, uh, there's a long list of procedures available in SAS. And if you can go to support.sas slash documentation site, we will have all the details. The best book to refer SAS is uh, SAS uh, documentation. You can Google SAS documentation uh, version 9 and you can access it. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Hello, sir. Yes. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm out. Audible, sir? I'm Sandeep here. Sandeep, yes, Sandeep, yes, yes, please. Uh, first, first of all, uh, 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 thanks for your knowledge. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, first of all, thanks for sharing your knowledge, sir. Uh, I'm totally new to the SAS. Uh, I want to ask, uh, I want to know how SAS can help to uh, help for the data science or machine learning here. and how it is different from the python yeah so if you uh, uh, when you, you refer to a yeah yeah i think you refer to a data scientist so statistical programmers uh, are yeah. data scientists yeah so we call our statistical programmers or data scientists because they are performing the data scientist role um, so when you talk about uh, um, how how different from uh, Python is uh, because uh, the, the 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 robustness, the reliability, um, and the um, the um, uh, the access to uh, many modules. Um, I think uh, definitely. Um, uh, I think uh, the Python or other tools have just started. Definitely, there are uh, some uh, advantages um, is getting built on those um uh, tools but however when you get into sas i think uh, they have it uh, ready um, for any given industry any given problem any given requirements uh, the tools are uh, there uh, the, the very the, however uh, these tools are these are licensed and they are very expensive and again from an opportunity perspective for the students um, sas is going to be a widely uh, uh, looked out opportunity uh, this has certifications, uh, global certifications that you could acquire during your graduation uh, or uh, b b getting some uh, courses uh, completed in SAS. Yeah, so all the, all this definitely can help you. Yeah, I think if there is some course kind of uh, support is needed, I think I can, um, uh, yeah, 
maybe if some support is needed um, uh, uh, in uh, Ishwari College, I think I can uh, support uh, Kanaka Super Rajas. Ah, yes, sir, 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 sir. Yeah. Okay. Because this is very expensive. Uh, the courses, some of the play people who have these institutes are uh, people I know them. Um, so these are like it starts like 1.5 lakh to 3.5 lakhs. Uh, the uh, SAS courses are. Um, so I think um, this can be learned by ourselves with the minimal uh, uh, term, uh, classroom sessions. Uh, so yeah, so I uh, have an op I've had an opportunity to collaborate with Baradar University, where I am uh, visiting faculty and teaching clinical trial management uh, course. Uh, SAS is part of that course, uh, so I teach them a complete uh, um, a semester. We conduct more, most of the classes virtually, and some of the classes uh, will be um, in the classroom. So now colleges can uh, maybe take it forward and see if they can bring this uh, part of the curriculum yeah, possible. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. So uh, I got disconnected from mine due to some network issue. Uh, so uh, SAS is an is other tool over, over the Python or you can say data analytics. Hello. Yeah, yeah. So I think I gave you one slide. So I shared the slide. You can hear me, right? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. So, I might have uh, uh, disconnected. Actually, your okay. voice is not audible. It is the, I think uh, you are in the low uh, bandwidth. I will go through that. Yeah, uh, so uh, here, I think what we need to understand is uh, yeah. what is digitization. I think um, Sorry, yeah. what is analytics, yeah, what is data uh, science. Uh, the, yes. There is a network issue here in Pune. You can you can post the your uh, question in the chat box there. So, no problem, sir. Uh, my my question. Has, yeah, has been, yeah. So uh, SAS is related to the, data science, and the SAS and, jobs uh, uh, primarily were in uh, life okay. sciences in particular, which I can uh, refer first hand or data science. Say data scientist jobs. Okay, SAS is, is again. In a open source, no, sir. Hello. SAS is not an open source software. It is a licensed uh, software. Okay. Fine. 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 I'm just like but Power BI the, and all. Yeah. 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 For the people. benefit uh, for the academics, they have given it free to access for um, students. Yeah. It must be a community edition or uh, express edition where we can uh, practice our. Uh, academic questions or academic issues. Yes, you can. You can practice it. Is it like I that, think sir? yes, yes. So what the access what they have given for academics uh, should be uh, enough uh, because there are some uh, features limited there. But still, uh, whatever they have given us the features is more than enough for, for us to practice it. Practice any um, thing from okay. a research data. If you have any research data available, you can input it. You can analyze it. Mm -hmm. um, you can um, uh, report it using this uh, uh, academics uh, session. So it is all, all to different than the Python, which I understood for by your discussion, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Hello, hello. Yeah, I Thanks think you. Lot, sir. Uh, for your yeah, yeah, completely, and, but yeah. I think you are connecting with Python, uh, uh, like uh, because this is a licensed software. Um, so, with uh, what I was um, answering yeah, earlier yeah. is, uh, yeah, yeah, it has everything. I, SAS. I, yeah, anyway. yeah, because uh, I, um, in other words, uh, the opportunity with SAS uh, is going to be there uh, for uh, for another decade at least. Um, yeah, but however, we need to be upskilled with other emerging uh, tools. As well, it is not one uh, tool is enough now. Um, it is uh, uh, it is an um, uh, we need to develop skill 
um, across the uh, yeah. Thank you, sir. Are there any more questions for this, sir? From my end, Indusha, ma'am. Yes, sir. You can go ahead. No, no. I'm done. From my end. Thanks a lot. I think there is a question is SAS being used in any current trending applications? No, I think um, so we should see SAS wherever you have data, um, SAS will be used. And in major, in majority of the uh, situations that we even see, uh, where we where you are seeing getting some insights, uh, SAS is behind it. I was saying an example of uh, cricket. Cricket, um, the um, the uh, data science behind that. Thank you, sir. They have responded with a thank you. Okay. Uh, what about tomorrow's timing, madam? Tomorrow the session will be 11 a.m. to 12.30 noon, sir. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much for this informative session on uh, SAS, sir. Participants, please make sure to fill feedback form sent in your WhatsApp groups. And tomorrow's session is on our programming by Bijuka Baidya, who is a data scientist at Novartis Hyderabad, and timing is from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Please make sure to attend the session. Yes, sir. Sure, sure, sure. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Actually, the session is very interactive, sir. And uh, like the main of the participants ask questions and uh, and regarding uh, the source, uh, we can possible we can include our curriculum, sir. And uh, sure, sir. Let me know you need sir. any ah, support yes, sir, on yes, that, sir. sir. Yeah. Sure. And we will discuss on later, sir. This is in this sure. regard. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you, sir. sir. Thank yeah. you. Can we con conclude it with a vote of thanks, sir? Yes, proceed. Yes, ma'am. We are delighted to have Mr. Nishant Nilan sir with us today and giving us this informative session. We'd also want to convey our thankfulness for accepting our invitation and providing support and knowledge on SAS. And we thank you very much for taking time out of your busy schedule and joining us today. I also want to thank all of our participants for taking advantage of this session. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. And thank you very much, all the participants.